It is Tuesday, June 18. It's 8.40 a.m. I waited till after 8.30 just to see if that data release would do anything. It really didn't do a whole lot. Spiders are hanging out under this 547.75, the bottom of this zone. They're still there, 546.99, 547. So the levels and the zones here, I want to discuss a little bit about where they came from, or at least part of it, because this, this top zone here, pretty large, relatively speaking, and it's a different color, and there's a reason for it. I'm not going to really treat it the way I typically treat a zone. Um, if they come down to any of these levels, well, that's where I would enter a trade in the E-minis or kind of scale in if they were into a zone here. And because, well, tomorrow's holiday, Juneteenth, and uh, the next day, this first day of summer, summer solstice, and then we have, that's Thursday, and then Friday is the you know options expiration day, third Friday of the month. This is when this contract is officially over, the ESM contract. I'm already trading the ESU contract, September contracts. Anyway, a lot of things happening this week. So we've already seen some interesting activity, just kind of a, a grind higher uh, yesterday. So a lot can happen or it could be flat. We just you know don't really know. So I have a lot of levels and are spread out. Just want to be conservative like I was yesterday. So this level up here, or this zone, there's a trend line that's been developing that will probably be easier to see on a different time frame. So I'll bring it up in a minute. It's been going up here, and I have three levels within this. This is like the, the top and the bottom, and there's one sort of in the middle. And I just want to kind of keep an eye on where price and time may converge today and or Thursday when they get there. So let's look at that right now. So on this five-minute chart, you see this trend line going up, and these are the levels. So like the light dashed, the light blue dashed lines on the one-minute chart. This is the top and bottom. There's one right in the middle. So pretty pretty even here. And I have this spread out here so I can see when time and price would converge. Like this would be today at 1045 a.m. today is when this happens. I'm not saying that you know they're going to come up and hit these precisely. But if, if price comes up to the underside of this trend line, it's likely that there's going to be some type of reaction. But there's going to be a zone here. So I, mean, I mean, if it comes up later in the day, you know, our, this zone is important. So maybe that creates a little bit of a zone here. This next one here is later in the day, 2.30 p.m. This next intersection of price and time is on Thursday, on Wednesday, and that's the market will be closed. So I just want to keep an eye on this. That, that's just a little brief explanation of those light blue dashed lines on the other chart. This afternoon or evening after the market closes, we'll come back to this chart, and I'll analyze all the trades that could have been taken and were taken. depends on how the spiders react off of the levels and how they come into them during the day. So currently it's 844 and at this time of the day the spiders in the pre-market are at 54680. We'll come back after the market closes and look at everything then. See you then. Well they closed pretty flat today. It's after 7:30 p.m. and not a lot to look at today. Pretty clear which levels or which zone the spiders thought was important today. I did not get in front of my computer until it was like 10:40 or so. I saw this so I got set up, got to the office about 10.30, had some things going on, a little bit of a family emergency, just some things I had to take care of. So I did, wasn't even looking at the market until after 10.40 or so. I saw them coming down from this. So the idea is you would sell in this area. This is the zone, and they would have given a base hit multiple times, even up here at this top of the zone. I don't know if I would have taken a trade after 9.45. They were right above it after 9.45. Not, this is not to go long here because you're in the zone for a reaction down. This is the idea. I know it looks like a large zone, but it worked as designed if you're playing by the rules. But I have no recording to share. Did not take any trades myself. One base hit if you were just strictly adhering to the rules and treating this as a zone for a reaction in the opposite direction for, for a short trade. So not too surprising that they went to sleep today. Tomorrow's a holiday um, and... The volume just really dropped out. It was, I kept an eye on things. It was just so slow and nothing materialized. So I wasn't interested in anything today. And we won't have anything going on until Thursday. Like I said, tomorrow is the holiday, the Juneteenth holiday. And while the futures have some reduced hours, I don't touch the futures when the equities market is closed. You know, that's the case. So we'll jump to the tracking log and take a look at that. Essentially just saying that within this zone here, one base hit was entirely possible for a short trade if you sold somewhere within that zone at least once. After 9.45, and you can take a look at you know, averages based on based on points taken so far, 
and our running log. I did not take any trades today. Tomorrow, again, no trades. Or no markets closed in enough places where it's not worth trading. I'm just going to take the day off and focus on other things for the day, and we'll be back at it on Thursday, the first day of summer, the summer solstice. So the market's got some things to do soon, today, or this week, or next week. We'll be there to analyze it. Thanks for your support. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Check out the other videos. And we'll be back at it on Thursday. See you then.